Hello and welcome back to some more Imperator Rome. This time we're going to try something different than Sparta. Thought it was a good idea. Something entirely different. We're going to start off as a tribe. And uh, we're going to play in the Iberium... Uh, Iberia... Uh, Iberium Peninsula? Iber Iber that's about right. Spain or Portugal. And uh, we're going to try to do actually an achievement run. Woohoo! But an Iron Man mode, which is definitely not risky while you're recording, so, uh, this seems like a very good idea. Like a truly good idea. Now, I don't want to start up here, but I do want to conquer up there. Let's see, you're a 57 pop. Yeah, there's a, there are a couple of them which make sense to play. Let's see, Celticum, is this one... Religion Iberian. There's some druidics. I want to do the Iber Iberic. Hmm. Can I form with whomever? Iberia. I actually don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Actually, an interesting question. So. I would not know that. Um. Well, let's check it out. Uh, these guys are 34, which is decent. Got no citizens, though. I think, don't think anybody of these... Uh, uh, these guys seem to be doable. Uh, we would start off as Blatonia. I don't like their flag, to be honest. But they apparently have female leadership, which is interesting. Uh, we'll start off these guys. Seems like a good, fun thing to do. Normal game configuration. Uh, we'll call it uh, Hispania. Yep. There we go. Start. Alrighty. Now, important thing is decision. Form Greater Iberia. Is that the achievement? Let me just take a look. Uh, let's see. Achievements. Got a couple of them, but that's not the one I want. Uh, Albion. This is probably a challenging one. I believe it was an achievement. Forming Iberia. Yeah. Hispanic Universalis. That's the one we're going for. Or Hispania. So we can do it as these lots. Good. Gives us a start. Uh, we don't start off with any iron, which is a little bit of a downside. Do we have any of it nearby? Not particularly. However, if I expand northwards. One, two, three wars. I think we can get there. And then we can get heavy infantry. So that's pretty good. Why do you say I've got a trade route when I clearly don't? Because I'm not selecting my right country. Or actually, I've got two provinces, which is the problem. Mm. That seems a good way to start. And. Economy laws. I think I've got to go to free trade first. Because then I can get another trade route, and that should actually be a little bit more uh, better for me. Then we get another local tax rate, income increase. I'm gonna prevent on the trade window if I can flip and find it. There we go. And we can trade away. Like sneaky little button, but we can no longer can trade away. Our right, surpluses from our capital province, which I don't want to do. Then I'm gonna increase my national commerce income by one, and that's where I, my points kind of just, you know sink hit the water and we don't generate any research points so that's not really going to be useful so blessing of tyrannus is going to be the greatest option that we have you're my nearest neighbor with nine lads you're gonna die and to do that i'm not actually gonna form or do anything much yet because first i want to get some ideas let's get morale of army so we can fight a little bit longer and general loyalty is a good way to start because i want to Keep these fuckers happy. Alrighty then. That's the start. And we're off. Compared to Hearts of Iron, this is a fairly uh, fast start. Kind of like it, to be honest. And we got an extra fort here we start with. Uh, not really my ideal, but... Uh, it is what it is. So normally, I don't really play on this uh, with the tax modifier that we're running right now. But I think in the long run, especially early game, it might actually... Ugh, flip that. Early game, I think it's a better way to work because... That's only for surplus, so I don't want that. 
Um, do we have any freemen in the in this province? To be honest, I don't know. A couple of them, which seem to be pretty fucking miserable, because of um, ruler unpopularity. Well, that's the primary concern. Wine is not going to really solve it. I think I'm just going to go for grain. And, you know, do that. Let's start with a couple of alliances with our neighbors. Let's not declare war. Form an alliance with you. Uh, let's see. You're 10, 12, 11. Let's create a little alliance block to our south. That should work. And we'll get you in there as well. I did, there's nothing shows you, by the way, how many relations you're allowed to have. Oh, wait. It shows you here. Right, so you find out things every day, apparently. And, well, we could go to a Belascozzi stance, which is not a bad idea. But not really my preference. I tend to actually switch quite often to the Mercantile stance and later on to the uh, Appeasing stance, because aggressive expansion becomes uh, your biggest downfall at a certain moment. It can really cripple you, because there is not, nothing really stopping you, eventually, from just declaring war on every asshole you can find. Uh, which is whom now? Who is already in this defensive league, buddy? Because if that's one of my targets, I'm not gonna. You have an ally. Ah, you can, we can accept this one. No, we can't, because we would be over our uh, limit. So, no. No. Just, just no. And, uh, trading camp. Because I do actually foresee... Now we're eventually going to need some of our own lads. Because these guys are losing heavy uh, loyalty. Let's pay them a bit more. Which we can afford. Uh, definitely not going to do a defensive league against you. Because you are my target, buddy. And let's see. We have barbarian ideas. I still prefer... There's two ways you can go. One is going down here. Because you get the national manpower here. Which is pretty nice. You get wrong culture happiness down here, which is really nice, especially if you start expanding outside of your territory. And then there's heavy infantry offense, siege ability, and morale of armies. These are also pretty good. However, uh, uh, new found tribesmen. What's going on? Oh, that's our country. We are called Vasilia. Sure. Move in. Um. just lost my train of thought. Uh, I would like some army maintenance to be shipped away. That's fine. We lost our war chief. War chief. Let them come. We've got unfriendly neighbors. Who are the unfriendly neighbors? You don't like me, apparently. I see a different cultural group. Oh, wait. Do we actually... Do, 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 do. Yeah. Interesting. So, what a culture am I, actually? Um, we're Celtiberium, and then we've got Iberium. So, you know, Gaelic. There's not really Celtic. Pro, Pre-Indo-European. It's very ancient, I guess. Maybe I should have started one of these countries, you know, because that's like the Iberia. But whatever. You know, we are here. And uh, we're gonna work with what we got. So I need 200 points to fabricate a claim and then we'll work our way up from there. Now I'm not gonna specifically focus on running exploits, but especially since my country doesn't really seem to be um, that suited for it. Okay, the claim cost down, that seems to be a good idea. Um, because we start with two provinces, the idea is that you just stick on one province. I might do a little bit more of it later, but for now, I think I'm going to stick with what we have. And, uh, who is in this defensive league? I actually just still plan on declaring war on you, and I don't even know. Uh, that's okay. Uh, we'll accept this one. Uh, oh yeah, that's because I don't already have contact with you. So that surely, truly makes sense in every sense of the word. Right, great. Um, bleh, looking for buttons. Um, I need a couple of these. How much money am I making? 2.6. So, go for I will do for now. And we'll do another four of these. Uh, Soon-ish. 
should be able to afford that. But I need to get some army to um, counterbalance these massive dipshits. Alright, so... I'm... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna lead it myself. Come on, all our armies. Now, funny thing is, so apparently I do have the ability to recruit women already. Interesting. Um, okay, no, no, no. For a second I read that wrong. I didn't trade away one of my... Oh, I did trade away one of my woods. That's... I thought I was saying I cannot trade away my surplus. Uh, so it just maintains a surplus. So every wood... Yeah, I want to keep that local tax modifier, so... Yoink. That's currently probably worth more. Uh, I did the wrong one, didn't I? Yeah, I should have taken that one out. And put that one back in. That's an external trade mode. You produce one wood. I'm, gonna, I'm just importing it. There we go. I, 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 blah. Confusing. This province is called what? Vekaya? Sure. It'd be a lot easier if I called Greater Iberia soon. Hey, isn't it supposed to be cheaper? You sound a bitch. What's the problem? Is it because. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave the defensive league because it's gonna get me over the limit and then I'll fabricate a let the tick so it's gonna be cheaper. Wait, why is it still 200? I need to take over the month? There we go, yeah, that's take over the month. There we go. Uh, you're still only allied, I believe, with this lad. You're, you've got a large alliance chain going on, so... Um, can I do this? No, 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 we're not allied. It's gonna be a little bit tricky, but I think we'll be okay. 139. Ah, uh, should be fine. Yeah, definitely will be fine. We're not. We're, this definitely uh, that is not incredibly risky. So uh, yeah, I'll be okay. You just gotta wait for that infantry to finish building, and then we'll go to war. And we're mostly gonna sacrifice these lads. And I might just take in this. Just not the entire. Process. I actually don't know yet. Might just take whatever I can get. Cold arms of Zoelia. Uh, against who are you fighting? Oh. Uh. Sure, it's not what I had in mind, but yeah, we could definitely start fucking around with one of my neighbors. That's completely okay with me, to be honest, man. So, uh, sounds like, uh. We're gonna have some fun, though. So, um. It's gonna be a bit risque, but. So, you're also in this one. Yeah, okay, so would de declaring my own war now would have been a very bad idea. Um, just don't want to waste my manpower right now. But you're going to attack me? In Kentia, which is our capital. Oh, you don't. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Uh, let's not move everybody yet. It's just you're locked in, so you're gonna just stay there. I don't know when this guy locks in, but uh, the moment he does, just waiting. Sorry, I'm gonna. Okay, there we go. And let's not forget to set my uh, characters to the correct skirmishing stance. Let's get the high, highest bonus. There we go. We should win this fight. We've got discipline, uh, bonus selected. So are they. But they've got a odd stance. But we just overwhelm them with numbers here. 
We've got the fight, good. Um, only one of us is currently not in marching stance. It's you. Enable it, go in there. We can win that fight and be in our favorite for sure. We should have got, yeah, we got this. Not of room for a defensive league. Uh, can't go there for some reason. Are we also at war with. Oh, yeah, we have a bit larger uh, war than I anticipated. Um, you can go over there and then you can go over here. And when you've arrived, we're gonna disable the. Oh, that's not what I had in mind. Okay, we won the battle. Good. I think you can also stop the fast movement. That's okay. Now, as we're not a kingdom yet, uh, slavery is not really a option. Uh, at least we, we we won't we won't be able to get any slaves easy. Um, Alright, I actually have to set this up correctly. Um, can't go there. Can you guys just stop standing there? Because, you know, it just causes a lot of attrition. Still making a little bit of money. Now, by taking this, I might get something out of the war. Um, I don't know if we're fighting a defensive war or... Uh... So war shows superiority, which we which we are winning currently. Uh, but you don't, you need to win ten fights, and we're only at five right now. So we got some of this noise shite. Uh, tribesman output, which is pretty good. Is it is, is everyone out of tribesman is between a um, freeman and a slave, basically. Generate a bit of both. They're like half a slave and half a. Uh... Where are you going? Right there, okay. She's been locked in. There we go. Big fight coming up. Ooh, hopefully, everybody's here in time. Oh god. Another 7,000 coming in. We have superior strategy. That's pretty good. So you're at a minus 10 because you're not balancing well against shock. Pretty good. So that's not a fight in our favor. Alright, and immediately I wanna... Okay, I have to bail out my other lads, I think. Or he should stick with the siege. I don't know. I'm just gonna bleed some manpower. It's not really my favorite thing to do, but... I need to recuperate a little bit, um, otherwise I would get into trouble. I do only have two promises, do I? Yeah. Um, that doesn't serve me anything, uh, to be honest. Um, so we'll do that. Neither does this really. Hmm. Could do without a trade route. However, that would have made more sense if I did it on my capital, which I just put into uh, acquiring wealth. You know what? I should probably set this to trade acquisition, put in another trade route. It's actually not a bad idea. How much do I make from this province at all? Can I just check that there's somehow... Serpentorola, this is the, is that's this province? I make 0.76 from taxes, but 0.76 from trades. But trade will keep increasing. Plus, it's a minus 10% modifier. So if we, and that's already the same. So if we go to trade, which we're gonna get another 10% on, we can do another trade route for another. Wood would be actually fine, in all honesty. I think, however, I will. I will take the wood. Another 3% tax modifier, and we'll stick this one on. For now, that's fine. I think I'm gonna go to trade and just try to accrue as much wealth as I can. I think, I think early game that will really help us. We get an open hearing. We got another clan chief. That might not be a bad idea because we need. So, 
No, we don't want to trade that away, because I want to keep that surplus there as much as I can. So we got an external surplus, which is all fine with me, but it's not really what I was looking for. This war is, by the way, not yet going in our favor, I have to admit. It's still got about 10,000 men. And we are growing weaker. Because how many nations are involved in this one? Is also this guy involved? Yes, I like becoming friends. And also this guy. I think their alliance... Is that bigger? Yeah, it is. Holy shit. Why am I wasting my shit here? Taking this fort. Right now, I would prefer if the AI would be like, Hey! You know what might be a good idea? Am I leading this for some reason? No. I was not thinking I would, but... Ah, oh, this is bad. I'm not 2,000 incoming, but we're not gonna make that fight, so... Um, I'm gonna bail the fuck out of here. Don't wanna waste my uh, tribesmen here. That seems like a very bad idea. Uh, let's move with you in... Oh, not cavalry. Ugh. Light infantry, like that, oh, there we go, and where the initial light infantry there we go. I can take that fortress, that would be kind of neat. This battle is uh, surprisingly well, but considering what's extra incoming and what we just don't have. Okay, they got some stuff over there. Got some popularity incoming. Okay, we're gonna bail you out of there. And you are also not in the mood for this shit. Hey, uh, the peace deal that I want. Can I just... 45, Jesus, that's another year. I think I just got pulled into the war, which I didn't want to be part of. Oh wow, and I am not capable of bailing out of this one. Can I win this? We got a 5% bonus, 15%. Um, lead. But we do have heavy cavalry, which does increase damage versus archers. So they carry a lot of archers. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's let's flip and risk it. We're adding in some fresh troops, it might just swing it in the favor. There we go. Keep the morale high. If we roll high, plus we have a. Defensive uh, advantage. I guess I'll go for olives. Um, it's just slaves. It doesn't make any sense. Vegetables. Work. Sure, We're not importing salt. I'm trying to say. Oh, okay. Didn't expect that one. Okay. Okay, we're no longer profiting from the wood import. Damn it. I guess so. Uh, I don't have slaves, do I? Like, I genuinely don't believe I've got a single slave in my entire nation. Yeah, I don't. This fight is brutal. Like, hey, could you um, help me for some reason? I don't know. A lot of tribes were coming in, but uh, it's gonna be well after that one's ready. We were defeated, yeah. Holy shit, that costs us quite a lot, but uh, yeah, I would like to, uh, you know, just stop this war if at all possible. I had a uh, pretty weak uh, ally potential to the north. Wow, you're a really weak ally right now. All right, you, uh, you know, got a fast retreat, which is pretty good. Okay, um, let's just bolt out of here for now. Oh, they peace dealed. Good. Did I? No, I didn't get a promise. Did I? I did. That's new. Oh wow, we got something out of this war. Cool. Right. Oh, okay. Uh, tribal gameplay is a lot more interesting early game, in my opinion. Uh. Because the, there are these massive chain alliances and huge ass armies. There is a lot of this discipline and morale and, and loyalty thing. There's just a lot that you need to keep your eye on. Um, you've got 10 cohorts. I just don't have any morale. When the morale recovers of my warband, we will jump in. 
Uh, I need 1.7k. Okay, we'll get this soon. Just need for morale to recover. And then we'll be golden in... Yeah. Uh, you're in a war now, so this is time for me to declare war on you. Take my allies in. And just play the risky game, I guess. Um, this can take a province. You can take the fort. Not what I wanted to do, but you can take that. You can go here. Oh boy, I did not see those armies come in. Okay, um, where are you going? Rhoda. Okay, that's fine. I need that morale uh, recovery first. <laughs> Which recovers very slowly in the early game. Okay, we're just gonna stack up. Where is this province large enough? Yeah, I think so. Got a couple of allies. Doubt, doubt they will. We just had a pretty brutal war, and that they will really do anything. But with the double-sided war here, we might have a little bit of luck. Plus, I think I might be able to... Nope. I was hoping I could do a little bit of sieging. So yeah, they're getting a fucked from the north. E Is there anything really we want to do on the civic level? Morale recovery, yeah. We gained a decent amount of specific points today, so... Wait, you for a second thought that attacking might have been a good idea. You got a super piece. This will entirely go to me. That's... Pretty... Generous, to be honest. Is that James what you're offering here? Yeah, they did. Cool, I managed to unite my province a lot further than I thought I could. Alright, cool. Some ruler popularity out of it anyway. This is a death sentence from for the AI, though. Uh, you probably have some allies. Yeah, but not that many. You were my next target, so to speak. So you've got... Small line chain going on here. With 10, 10, 12, 5. <laughs> Not the easiest way, but whatever. Let's take the tech speed. Not that's gonna help us right now because we're barely generating any points. I, I did believe I get a couple of citizens. Yeah, I did. Probably should um, promote my um, Freeman away to citizens. That gets me. Think in a better state of mind. And if I do that purely in the capital, that would be also not that bad. We're not generating that many points. Who's my heir? Wow. We have some shitty popularity, let's be honest here. And she also doesn't hold any personal weight, gold, really. Hmm. Commanders loves bribes. So this gives me my commanders a lot more loyalty, but we lose a lot of money, which I don't have. Uh, but I don't think we have a loyalty issue per se. You're dipping a little bit. An increased wages is making it better. We've got some military administration going on. It's not that bad. But yeah, we're still not in the greatest state of all. I need to find my next potential target. Let's see what's the smallest alliance chain that I can trigger, basically. This is a... That's a decent one. Uh, yeah, sorry, the wood is not for sale. Because I want to maintain that uh, surplus. Cool, precious metal surplus. That makes my local citizens a lot happier. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, we could strip this province of most of its uh, um, citizens and just work a lot from the, our capital uh, province. So this is still... Uh, fuck, why are there no lines here? Uh, oh wait, it's right here. So this is the last one, I believe, that has any freemen. Omen power. Uh, 
stick with discipline for now. Okay, so we are, I would say, as a local power, one of the strongest. But I have to watch out and not expand too fast. Because otherwise I might actually get dumped on by my neighbors. Um, which have a tendency to... Uh, well, fuck you over. Let's see. You are also at war with one of... That's not your one. Oh, you became an OP... No, you're not an OPM. But you're tiny, though. You have a couple of allies. I don't know exactly what happened there. <laughs> anyway, um, I would say we're doing pretty good. I think this is pretty nice for a first episode. With that, I want to thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.